about 20 minutes ago, I discovered accidentally among old files a video I had taken of myself after I had located the appropriate remote control to go with the camera I had at the time in order to test it and in order to test the camera. And what I had talked about was the purpose of life. And as I was listening to myself, it seemed to me that this was something that I should really share with others. This was something maybe worth listening to. And so I decided, since now I can do so due to the magic of YouTube and Windows Movie Maker, that I will do precisely that. I hope you enjoy The Purpose of Life by Ingrid Schaefer. I think it's a twenty. The remote control just surprised me. I didn't know it was the right remote control and I was digging around in a little bag for it and suddenly the flash went off and he took a picture of me because apparently I had pushed accidentally a button to take a still picture. What would I like to say at one o'clock or uh, one twenty four in the morning? as I am supposed to be going to sleep because I need to get up in the morning in order to get to school. What comes to my mind? You know, if I were to have the, the opportunity of lecturing, what is it I would like to tell people I would consider to be almost the most important thing they could ever learn. And I think it has something to do with the purpose of life. What is the purpose of life? I believe that the purpose of life is to live your life in such a way that you can say at any moment that because of you the world is a slightly better place. It doesn't demand a great deal of effort. It simply means bringing tiny amounts of love, care and compassion into the world. It means smiling at a grocery clerk. It means bringing water to a thirsty plant. It means not saying the angry word without first at least thinking about it. I'm not talking about never expressing anger. I'm not talking about being so other directed that one doesn't take care of oneself because unless we love ourselves, unless we take care of ourselves, we really can't take care of anybody else either. But at the same time, there literally to me is absolutely no reason even to be alive unless we can make a difference to others, unless we can throw out little seeds, I call them seeds of loving kindness, which may take a root and may grow and may flower into something magnificent, even though we will, we will never know it. And so, what is the purpose of life? The purpose of life is to be a good person, is to be somebody who cares about others, someone who 
makes the best of his or her, her life. It means learning. It means never, never, ever stopping to learn. So that we are willing to discover new things. And as we discover new things, we're willing to change our minds. The purpose of life is to be adaptable. The purpose of life is not to get stuck at any particular stage, in any particular manner of living. The purpose of life is to appreciate beauty, bring beauty into the world, but also to see it and to see it in others. The purpose of life is to believe in others. So by our belief in others, we may fill them with confidence so they can believe in themselves. The purpose of life is to pet your kitten and pet your dog and never stop reading and learning and never stop growing. The purpose of life is learning and loving, loving and learning, and that is all we need to know. Do we need to be religious if that is how we want to lead our lives, then we should. But we should never allow religion to interfere with the basic prime directive of being generous and gentle and caring. This doesn't mean that we should turn ourselves into doormats and dish rags. Because if we do that, then we actually hurt others by not insisting that they respect us as we respect them. But life is about respect. It is about respecting others. It is about respecting the earth. It is about respecting ourselves. And it is about realizing that we do not live in isolation. We are individuals and it is important that we have an opportunity to flower as individuals. But we never exist apart from society even if we think that we are alone. And so we have to see ourselves as being part of a larger whole. And that larger whole, which we can comprehend, again, as a part of a yet larger whole. We have to see our short lifespan, and it is short compared to the eons which have come before and the eons which I hope will continue after we are gone. We have to see our short lifespan as precisely that, something like a grain of sand on the ocean shore, but a grain of sand which, just because it is small and short, does not need to be insignificant. And that is what I have to say this evening or this morning, I should say, before I go to sleep. Four years later. Thank you for watching. And maybe you'll see me again.